Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. I'm Emerald, and today we're taking you on another firewood delivery adventure of sort. This cord of firewood is kind of going far away from here. It's an hour out, and because of that, we have to leave right away. So I've never been to this place before. Who knows what we're going to be getting into? You're gonna have to watch and find out. Let's go. First up, before we can leave, I of course have to get hitched up to our dump trailer there. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we can head out. All right, all I have to do is pour myself some coffee and we can be on our way. Like I said, it is kind of far away. It's an hour out, so we're kind of in it for a long ride, but I'm okay with it because, hey, air conditioning, okay? It's like, it's 93 degrees out right now, and when the sun shines, I break into a sweat like instantly, so being in the nice air conditioned truck, I'm not complaining. All right, let's go. All right, we are almost here. Um, it looks like it's in a neighborhood, so I'm gonna be close to other houses. Not that that matters, but still. It's just taking uh, stock of my surroundings. That's what I would call it. Okay, stop sign, Emerald, stop sign. Ah, stop the stop sign, ah! Okay, we did it. It was okay with the four-way stop, anyhow. No cop, no stop, you guys. No, just kidding, just kidding. Hi. I'm completely Hi. kidding there. And that is the gate that they were probably talking about. Dad said that we had to get through a gate. That's probably it. All right, I'm gonna just pull over here and we're gonna go talk to the customer here quick. Put on my four-way flashers, that's what I usually do.
All right, we got in and out of there safely, but holy cow, did you guys see that? I don't know if that showed up on camera quite like it did in person, but uh, yeah, that was kind of tight, and I was able to, to get it in there. If the trailer had even been like an inch larger, it probably wouldn't have fit, but there was plenty of room outside the gate to maneuver, and I did it, but um, yeah, that's the kind of stuff you just never know if you're going to have to to do that. And so you always need to be mentally prepared. That's always how I see it. I'm like, okay, mentally preparing for something that could be pretty challenging. That wasn't actually, like, terrible. I managed to get it on, like, the first shot. So um, not a ton of adjusting, and that makes me feel pretty good at my skills. But now I'm just, now I'm just rambling. Anyways, that's it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more content. But other than that, we'll see you back here next time.